you don't look back and think, oh, well, I wish I could have done more. You want to make sure that you look back and think, okay, well, sometimes the other guy's just better than you. Yeah. You've got to accept That's how it. it is. That's the fight game, right? The fight game has no... It's not, it's not a game, man. Sometimes you can do everything that you've done, leave no stone unturned, and you're still not as good as the opponent. Here we have Ireland's own Ben Mead fighting out of SBG Charlestown in this flyweight fight. It's Mead's MMA debut. He's known for his jiu-jitsu. He's got a European medal in jiu-jitsu as well. Well, the thing is, with the coaching they've got at SBG Charlestown, that is going to be another gym where they bring out these young fighters. They're going to be a lot. I like to put well cooked, you know. Yeah. They're not undercooked in any area. They're going to no. be and complete I mean, fighters from day one. And look at the look at the corner. He's got Coach Owen Ruddy, McGregor's striking coach. I mean, if I'm a young fighter with McGregor's striking coach in my corner, I'm going to be full of confidence. Exactly from the prestigious banner of SBG. SBG's worldwide. But one thing you get with SBG is like quality control. You know, SBG, they've got a system that clearly works. He's been working for decades and it just keeps evolving. So I'm always excited to call a fighter from SBG. For sure. You know like, what you're going to get It's an exciting fight. I love as well the Irish never let us down. We've got a good, strong Irish crowd. That's why they call them the Fighting boys. Irish, right? That's why they call them the Fighting Irish. And hats off as well, making the dip travel over for it. I'm a trailer May event. But you know, there's a For lot his of debut, I mean, that's a good support network. Yeah, there's a lot of history between Ireland and Liverpool. A lot of people moving each each way, you know, and then there's a there's a lot of Irish in Liverpool, there's a lot of Liverpool that move to Ireland. There's a big connection. There's a big connection. Bobby Christensen fighting out of Aspire. This Two is going to great, be a great gyms fight. fighting against each other here. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off, Ben Paul. I'm just so excited for this one, oh, man. No. <laughs> just so I love excited. the walkout music as well. You can tell the crowd's getting round here as well. Yeah, the decibels are just. Each fight just notched up, 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 and up. Yeah. This is a, a big favourite of mine, by the way. I'm a big fan of 50 Cent. Wow. So what you've got there, you've got Ben and Bobby glaring from the balcony. Like, you've got Bobby bearing, like, from the balcony into the cage, and then you've got Ben just glaring back out of the cage. Like, if you'd have walked through that stair, it would have cut you in half, you know? That's from... <laughs> you can see Ben that Mead is eyeing him up. He's not letting go of any of that eye contact. Well, this is the game, right? Who breaks eye contact first? I'm trying hard not to sing along to this song. This is a yeah, this is one of those walkout songs <laughs> we've always mentioned. I mentioned it on the last one. If that's on a compilation for walkout yeah, tunes, it's like... This is a bad man tune to walk out to. If this song doesn't get you fired up, then... I don't know what will. I don't know, man. Like I've been in plenty of gyms where all they've got is one fifty cent CD, so I'm pretty sick of listening to it. But like, <laughs> each to their own. Each to their own. You know as well. Both of these teams would have done their extensive research. You know? Yeah. They would have taken this obviously. Yes. Yeah. There's no. Again, I hate to keep using the same expression, but there is no stone left on the table. You've got two brilliant teams of coaching staff, both places, who live, breathe, and eat fighting. They probably dream about it. Yeah. And the thing about coaching is, Paul, you're either all in or you're all out. And these coaches are absolutely all in. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Massive reception for Bobby there. The atmosphere is one and up.
757 kilograms. So introducing to you first, hanging out of the red corner, representing SPG Charlestown, presenting the me. Ooh, a little bit of animosity there. The traveling fighter. His opponent standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Aspire. Presenting Bobby Christensen. Oh, I'm excited for this fight. Yeah, man, a whole lot of, whole lot of noise for a hometown boy. A bit of talk, talking crap between the two guys who I almost swore and I apologize. <laughs> that was very close. Wait till the watershed, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. Oh! No messing for Ben. But Bobby's on that chin. How's Ben going to tackle? He's got the leg weave there. Takes the hands off. Similar position to we saw earlier, right? Using the leg weave to take pressure off the neck. But if Bobby's nice and he's nice and dry at the minute, you know. There's no case. messing about from Ben Media. Straight to it. Nah, Ben. Ben knows he's got to get the win tonight, you know. Like you said, there's a lot of talk, but talk is cheap when it comes to the fight. Lovely wrist trap behind there, staying off the ground and pound. He's going to look to take the back here, I think, of Bobby. Bobby's doing everything he can not to expose his back. Everything he can, with every ounce of his being. He's trying to keep Ben to the front of him. Lovely position there for Ben. Strapping in that little three-quarter guy with a wrist trap. Uh I'm it's so technical for, for guys that are making their MMA debut. It's so technical. What do you expect from this team, though, guys? Like, the, what's what I say? They've got systems. They've got systems they work. SBG and Aspire to build fighters to win. And this is a mass. See, this wrist trap position we see it so much in amateur MMA now. They used to call it the Dagestani Dagestani handcuff. handcuff yeah. yeah. A lot of the Americans are saying that you shouldn't call it that because then it's just called a wrist trap because that's what they invented, but you know. It's an American versus Russian thing, isn't it? Yeah, man, like, <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that. All I'm saying is it's a sick position to strike from and let off your ground and pound. Big very hard to defend. Good so, head yeah, position ben, for Ben nice. Mead as well. Oh, that was a heavy shot there over the top. Ben taking another, looking at three-quarter mount again. Big ground and pound, Big mount from Mead. Just looking to smash that knee shield. Bobby's doing everything to get his back to the fence so he can walk up it. A lot of urgency there from the Aspire corner as well, Paul. He's so well at trapping those legs as Ben Mead. Yeah, that leg weave's clearly the game plan, right? That's clearly something he's been working on to bring tonight. Looking again for the wrist trap, look. Bobby's wise to it. The Khabib star performance from Ben Needs so far. Well, if it, it's, it worked perfectly for Amateur MMA, right? Three three minute rounds. Get out there and grapple, guys. Bobby's got back to his feet. Oh, Big lovely, has taken beautiful takedown. And the Irish, they're ecstatic over there, all on the feet. Looking for the head and arm choke. If he gets his leg across, it's game over. Bobby trying to drive his elbow down. Well defended. But Ben's in mount. Ben doesn't even look like he's broke a sweat in this position. Sets off with his ground and pound again, looking for the back. Heavy shots, heavy shots. The round's almost over. Can he survive? There we go. Great, great first round from Ben Mead. Absolutely phenomenal. Really? You could even say oh. that was a 10-8 performance. Uh, yeah, I'd 100% score that a 10-8 because it was all Ben Mead yeah. from start to finish. It's the Ben Mead show right now. Bobby did well to survive, and hats off to Bobby because he kept scrambling. But for me, yeah, it's 10 8 round. I can imagine there's a lot of urgency here in the um, Aspire corner. Yeah, ball. for sure. I mean, Bobby didn't give up in a single position. He's a fighter. Well, yeah, there's, I think that's a good thing to take away from that round because. At no point did he just give yes, in. He didn't just, accept any position. You know, he didn't accept any position. And for me, I think he got caught a bit by that first exchange. Yeah. He was not expecting Ben to just shoot. Ben Mee just ran at him straight away as soon as the bell went off. The, yeah, the thing is as well, you don't so you don't have to hit touch gloves. It's, it's that's 
That's not a rule. You don't no. have to touch gloves. So and you can't go in expecting to touch gloves. Yeah, you think you should always know that they might just shoot. I've, I've had that done to me at only at grappling tournaments, and so is my missus. You know, it's it's very frustrating. Ben Mead giving it to uh, Bobby Christian. Will he rush off. again? That's the thing. Will he do it again? Will Ben try the same tactics again? Because looks like it. Looks like it. No, straight in. Nice take down. Straight back down to the ground. Yeah, Bobby looking for that knee shield. Ben getting that half guard. Nice. Yeah, you can shout. Cole Joe in there shouting for the half guard. And again, looking for the wrist trap. But I think Bobby's just going to try to keep his hands on the inside right now. He wants his, Bobby's looking like he wants his guard back. He's looking, I think he's looking for a triangle from bottom. Yeah, he's, he's going to look to sort of set up a triangle. I can just sort of tell with his posture. But, it's, but Ben's wise to it. Nice sweep. Oh, lovely. <laughs> ben looking for that straight Achilles lock. That's, that's tight. That's tight. That is tight. But he's not, got, he's not quite got a bite on the Achilles. He's going to use that to sweep and stand up. Burying his head, passing. You can tell... Ben's this is a phenomenal pace, by the way. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, you can tell Ben's got a lot of jiu-jitsu competition experience because this is how you'd approach a jiu-jitsu competition match. Yeah. Especially at the lighter weight and, uh, like... I'm assuming he's a blue belt, if I'm wrong. Don't, don't yeah, kill he me, is, he is. Yeah, because so, like, he's, that's the blue belt pace, right? It's pop, 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 pass, 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 pass. <laughs> you got Bobby looking for a buggy choke there. I love this position, this leg drag position. is absolutely awesome. It's controlling the whole the whole pace of it. Yeah, this leg drag position over the top. It's perfect, like you said, Paul, for controlling the pace, which can really lock your opponent down. Interesting, Ben dragged the leg back as well, rather than taking him out. Looks to get some ground and pound off here. Straight in with that leg weave position. Ben's got to be careful of his neck. Well, the thing is here, yeah, it's so tempting to try and take a guillotine in that leg drag position because if you can get your guard back which Bobby's trying to do it puts you in danger but it, you can sometimes use the, the guillotine to set up like past a half yeah. guard and when you set up that past a half guard it's very hard to stop but Bobby's got his guard back well done Bobby he's just not controlling the arms enough to start shooting for arm bars and triangles right I mean it's just relentless from Ben Mead isn't it the pace man it's not, and Ben, as, as much as Bobby's not settling for any position, it's the same for Ben Mead, you know. He's not just sitting in one position and staying there. He's constantly attacking, constantly looking for the next transition. I can only imagine this is what it's like. It looks, it's Bobby like back to his feet. For Bobby, it's like trying to fight in a dream, right? Everything you put out is just stopped and just somebody's just plowing forward. Like, Ben is not phased by these guillotine attempts at all. For, they're not they're not too deep, no. so he's just not facing. He's using they're, these. They're on the wrong side as well. Yeah, exactly. He's using this to get the leg weave. Then he'll pop his head in. That's it. Pop his head out. Look for that far wrist. Trap the far wrist. Oh, just the end of the second round. Another big round for Ben Mead. Yeah, big breath, deep breath there from Ben Mead. Bobby looks defeated. I can't lie. I'm like honestly, I, I it's grueling. Yeah, it's grueling. Like when you're fighting somebody who puts that sort of pace on you. It's so hard trying to get off the floor. Guys, you at home, if you never train in MMA gym, Paul will attest to this. When you've got somebody with that grappling pace, that pressure where you can't get up, it feels like, like I said, it feels like trying to fight in a dream. Every time you try and stand up, you just drag back down. It's just smothering. It's smothering, it's draining. We like to use, when we're coaching, we always use the term like wet blanket. It's like trying to get a soaking wet blanket off you. It just spreads. It zaps every ounce of your energy. And Ben, it's, he, he's got to be so confident going into this third round. So confident. Well, I think Bobby, Bobby looks a bit tired. I think Ben could look for a finish in this round. I, I, I don't doubt that for a second. Yeah, I think that'll be right on his mind. I think he wants to come here and get a finish. Yeah. Just the energy from the opening bell. He's looking for the finish. Good right hand from Ben. Straight back. Bobby's doing the right thing, turning his hips, but Ben's up on heavy on that single. Looking for the ankle pick. That's it, two hands on the ankle. Bobby's doing well to stay up at this position. Good head position from Ben Mead. Yeah, nice standing back. Bobby's up doing well Bobby. to stay on his feet, though. Ben's just good head position from Ben. 
looking for that Post. single again. Can he, can he, can he pull the leg? Ah, oh, excellent, Lovely drags his man off the fence. Bobby's doing the right thing, getting his back to the fence, trying to walk back up. I think Ben's, Ben's going to want to drag Bobby away from the fence, right? Not give him that platform to climb on. And he's right in the Aspire corner as well right now. You've got the corner of Aspire saying, fight the hands. Oh, yeah, beautiful take, take now. And what we've got here, we've got Ben in the middle of the cage. And as you'll know, Paul, you can attest to this, it's a lot harder to get up when you're in the middle than when you can use the fence. So if Ben's going to get a finish, he's probably the place for it. I'll be on that guillotine again. Interesting, they've got the corner of a spire saying, no guillotine, stand up. You can tell Bobby's definitely not got the same amount of energy to, to try and get up. I mean, he's still trying. He's still doing what he can. But the pace from Ben Mead is just relentless, mate. I'm really liking this top pressure from Ben Mead. Making him carry all of his weight. Yeah, exactly. It's all heavy hits right now. It, it, for the layman, it looks like he's using his arms for everything, but it's his leg work, you know? It's the hips and the legs trapping Bobby on the floor. And looking for mount. He's looking to sneak up and get that mount. I think you jinxed it earlier, saying we're going to like get all finished <laughs> first round I, finishes. I, I, I this did is, jinxed it. But this is an intelligent performance from Ben Mead. He's away from his hometown. He's in unknown territory. He's mounted in Hostile here. territory. He's got to play it smart. This is what he's doing. He's using super mature. This is a very mature performance yeah, considering mature performance. someone's never made... It's his, it's his MMA debut. Yeah, you think he's probably somebody with like six fights, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine fights. This is a high-level fight for an amateur. It's unrelenting. Look at it. Oh, he was looking mount. for the back then, took the mount. Oh, it's Big a heavy shots. shot. Referee's looking at looking closely here. Chopping his arm. Looking for a crucifix. He's looking for a DOS. Nah. Just heavy shots. Big beautiful, shots. beautiful control here from Ben Mead. Oh, just Bobby just pops An back up to absolute smothering performance by Ben Mead. Absolutely, but let, let's not take away from Bobby as well. Bobby didn't give up for a second, you know, popped no. back up to his feet, end of that round. But if that was all the Ben Mead show tonight. Technical, brutal. Ben Mead straight into the crowd for his Irish fans. Conor McGregor asking Cage Warriors. I know, right, well, you know, I think a lot of these young men take that model and roll with it, right? You see people like Connor, especially from like SPG. SPG, right? Exactly. That was a grappling clinic right there from Ben Mead, guys. Like, hats off to Bobby. Super tough kid. Didn't give up for a second, but Ben was just always one step in front. And for me, it was the transitions. It's what happened in the grey area. He let Bobby, he sort of like let Bobby move, and as Bobby was trying to get the scrambles, you got Ben taking over, using that to sneak into different positions, whether that was three-quarter guard, half guard, mount, back mount. Really nice to see fires show mutual respect as well. Like, when you get in there, it takes two to tango. And sometimes you need a, you need a sparring partner, you need a dance partner, but all the, everything on the line. So, I think that, it's a great debut for both kids. You've got Ben Mead with the performance of the win, but for Bobby, he can take away the fact that he knows he's a fighter because there was not one ounce of quit in that kid, not one ounce of quit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges score the contest 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Ben Me! The rabbit guys, your winner by unanimous decision. Ben Me.
have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. The dream. Bet the city, let it fall on them. And now my niggas stay down with me. No, I be there. Change on my road dogs, but that came been on things like we old dog. Walk up in the dealer and I pull that rose off. These niggas said I wouldn't make it like I told.